Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex. I'm the founder of the Essex Allotment Farm, which for its most part is a four seasons market garden supplying organic vegetables straight to end consumer through veg box service and farmers markets. But today I'm at my consultancy site here at the Tim Roof Cafe in Malden. I'm gonna give you a quick catch up of what we've been getting up to in this video and also talk to you about an amazing watering system, a recycled watering system that they've installed here on the site, which should give us up to 20,000 litres of recycled water at a time. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get cracking. Before we uh, talk about the watering system, let's just have a quick catch up at what's been going on. Um, I'll show you in the greenhouse in a little bit. Not much has changed in there. We've got some ungerminated seeds that we've been sowing, but uh, maybe I'll do that in a separate video, but we'll see how we get on today and how long this one come, becomes. Uh, but we're here in Polytunnel A, for those of you who are familiar with um, the layout of the site and we've done some more planting here so let me spin around the camera and show you what we've been up to first of all a uh, little update on these these are well you planted these if you remember 10 days ago so if I were left to right on these four rows we've got um, a mustard leaf a green lettuce leaf turnips no yes snowball turnips and a catch crop of radish and the growth has come on really well in the first 10 days let you have a closer look so the uh, multi-sown radish multi-sown snowball turnips green lettuce and the end row there is the mustard leaf so i don't reckon we're far off from picking that uh, if we actually had some sunlight which we haven't had any in about probably had one day of sunlight uh, like sunny day in those 10 days since they've been planted out. If we had a little bit more, they'd kick on even, uh, or kick on a little bit faster and we'd be picking in a few weeks time. Um, but we shall have to wait and see what the weather does for us. And if I uh, tell you what's been planted out in the last day or so, uh, this row here is a kohlrabi, a purple variety of kohlrabi. And then if I jump over here, to the right hand side of the polytunnel. None of this was planted at the last uh, catch up. We've got another row of kohlrabi here. Um, and on this side, we've got another run of the snowball turnips on the right hand side. Uh, the next row in from the right is more mustard leaf. And then we've got two sowings, no, not sowings, plantings of spinach. So real young spinach plants, but the root ball system on them is lovely. And then we've got the turnips, snowball turnips, and mustard leaf. So the planting, all in all, in polytunnel A, is going quite well. So one thing I had noticed when I turned up today was that the first five lettuce plants at that far end, which is the end that we were just looking at, um, had been eaten by something. And so they'd left the radish uh, the turnips and the mustard leaf and they'd eaten the first five plants in a line of lettuce. Now that could be mice, that could be a bird that's brave to come in into the polytunnel or it could be rabbits. And we have made some provisions on the site to try and keep rabbits out of this system, but nothing's foolproof. Um, so what I'm gonna do, uh, I will try, I forgot to show you that I've, and I've replaced the plants already uh, with some spares that we had. Um, and I will try and put a picture up, but my overlay skills aren't particularly great, as you all have seen, um, but I will try and put a picture up here somewhere of what I found when I turned up today. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I just so happen to have one of my wildlife um, cameras in the boot of my car from the farm. So I'm gonna set it up in this polytunnel in the corner and see if we can capture on camera um, what it is that munch those uh, five lettuce plants uh, and see if they come back and then we can have, gives us a better chance to deal with the issue. So I've just popped up to the storage area where we've got the shipping container and the composting bays are through that gate behind me. And I've come up here to start talking to you about the water system that they've had put in. So effectively, and I'll show you it on footage as we talk about it, they've had a 20,000 litre um, water capturing system put in, um, which collects all the water from the roof of the cafe and stores it in this massive great big tank. It comes off the roof and down into underground and then is pumped into the holding tank. And then there's a second pump that will pump 
that water to various different points around the garden area. One of them being the greenhouse, one of them being up here next to this container, and one of them being the second polytunnel, which is polytunnel B. And what that does, uh, and what you'll have seen in the uh, time lapse that I just put on there, is that there's two tap options uh, every tap location. Um, and that isn't hot and cold, it's not that posh, but what that is, is rainwater, or recycled rainwater, and mains water. So where we've had uh, two weeks of solid rain, the water system is completely full. And so all our watering that we're doing in the greenhouse and in the polytunnels currently is recycled rainwater at a cost of an ongoing cost of nothing at all. Uh, true to form, uh, for the weather here in Essex recently, it's just started chucking it down. So I've ducked back into the polytunnel. I'm gonna show you some of the taps or the taps in action now. But yeah, it's an ongoing cost of nothing to use that water obviously it was a huge investment and it's cost a hell of a lot of money to put in I don't know that figure it was put in before I got here um, and yeah I haven't asked but what I do know is what they've spent on it over the years and years and years at this uh, cafe will be on this site they'll save back um, through using the recycled rainwater in ongoing running costs and obviously there's the environmental impact and all the positives that come from using recycled um, rainwater uh, to water the plants uh, and the garden um, and yeah all in all I think it's an absolutely fantastic investment to make um, and hopefully more and more people will be doing this as uh, new places like this are built. So I've popped down to next to the cafe I'm out of the garden and this is the holding tank that's got the pump in it that pumps the water round to the various uh, tap points in and around the cafe. I've signed a, kind of got the back end of the building in just to give it a bit of scale. So I was just doing a bit to camera and uh, one of the guys that helped installed it heard what I was saying and I've quoted 20,000 litres. Um, it's actually 40,000 litres, not 20,000 litres. Um, so yeah, my mistake. Now I'm going to go up that ladder and show you what it looks like at the top. So wish me luck, because I'm not great with heights. Here it is in all its glory. So uh, it's actually got a floating lid that's not been uh, put in yet. Uh, so there'll be a lid that sits on top of the water and goes up and down depending on how much water's in there. Um, that'll stop any debris and stuff coming in over the top. But yeah, like I say, it's filled from the bottom and pumped out to the taps. Right, so I uh, survived that. I'm back in Polytunnel B, um, which has got nothing in it. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not great with heights, so I'm glad I did it for the footage. The footage wasn't great, I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, the ladder was a bit dodge. Um, but I've done it. Anyway, I'm back in here to show you the tap system because there's someone working on the one in the greenhouse in true vloggy thing, I can't get to it. So I'll have to show you this one. Hold fire, one second. So like I said, um, if these haven't been attached yet. We've still got ongoing work, this post too high. Um, so bear with us, we're not finished here when I open so um, it's a bit rough and ready but um, this is the how the system works so uh, every every uh, location has got two taps now you can't see it very well because it's got the insulation thing but uh, this one on the right hand side is actually a black tap um, you can tell by the different uh, taps here so that's the recycled water it's got a black um, uh, tubing cover uh, the, the blue stuff that hasn't got the tubing cover is uh, the mains water. So, you know, mains water, very simple. And that is that is the uh, recycled rainwater. Yeah, and like I said, um, every tap location has got the option of having recycled or rainwater. So you look at these top beds here. Behind me, I'll get out a shot so you can see it. I'll see if it'll focus over here. But we've got one tap here and one tap at the far end over there. One of them's mains water, one of them's recycled water, so we can run a hose to either one of them. Uh, it's the same in the greenhouse, it's the same by the container, um, and it's the same on the locations in the bottom beds and the polytunnels. So I think that's a really, really, really great thing to do and to spend the money on. And uh, sort of one of the other reasons I'm proud to be part of. Uh, such a fantastic project. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed the quick catch up and the look at the uh, recycled water system. Uh, we plan to put some drip irrigation in the 
polytunnels and uh, all coming off that recycled water system. So, uh, as I said, it's a really, really great feature. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, but for now, bye-bye.